This is the Alden Report. Hey, it's Mike Alden. I hope you're enjoying the Alden Report as much as I am. I love bringing to you new and exciting people that add value to your life. I'm also super excited to announce my latest book, Best Seller Secrets. Listen, if you're an author, maybe you're thinking about writing a book, maybe you've already written a book, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to continue to grow your brand, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to bring in more leads, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you wrote a, a cookbook or a children's book, maybe you wrote a, a fantasy book, a self-help book, a tell-all book, a novel, it doesn't really matter. In my latest book, Best Seller Secrets, I give you all the information that I've literally spent millions of dollars trying to figure this thing out and I'm going to give it to you absolutely free with my book bestseller secrets go to bestsellersecretsbook.com again it's bestsellersecretsbook.com i give you all the information that i've spent literally millions of dollars trying to figure this whole world out my books have gone on to do amazing things i'm a three-time wall street journal usa today best-selling author i've hit number one on amazon hundreds of times my books have been the number one book in the world against all books in every category and i've also done this for other authors and I'm giving you this information absolutely free. Just go to bestsellersecretsbook.com. You gotta pay a small processing fee, but it doesn't really matter again because I've spent millions of dollars. And here's the other secret. You can do all this stuff yourself. If you don't have a team, that's okay. If you don't have a lot of time, that's okay. You read the information in my book, again, whether you just started writing a book, whether you've written the book, whether you wrote the book years ago and you wanna kinda resurrect it, in my book, Bestseller Secrets, I show you exactly what you need to do, and I'm giving you the book absolutely free. Go to bestsellersecretsbook.com, download the book, take that information, use it to become a bona fide, legitimate, number one bestseller. I show you how to become a number one bestseller in less than 24 hours. And again, I'm giving you this information for free. Go to bestsellersecretsbook.com. Again, it's bestsellersecretsbook.com. This is the Alden Report. All right. Well, my name is Michael Alden, and this is the Alden Report. We are here uh, in Blue Bay Studios uh, during this unprecedented time. Sometimes I'm in the studio. Sometimes I'm in my home office. Uh, all depends on really kind of what's going on in the world. Uh, but it's a, it is it is a very weird time uh, here in 2021. Uh, and, but my next guest, you know, I want to bring my next guest on because my next guest is an expert. Uh, she is a naturopathic doctor and she's an expert uh, within the world of, of health and wellness. She has an amazing story, but she's going to talk to us a little bit about, you know, kind of what's going on uh, with our immune system. She's an author. Uh, she consults with like big, big time celebrities. Uh, she's, a, she's a world renowned speaker. People really kind of come to her uh, for, for uh, answers to their questions about their health, anything from your immune system to weight loss, to toxicity, all these different things. Uh, she's really an expert in, but we're really going to try and get her, uh, you know, she doesn't have a lot of time. We're really going to try and um, really extract from her all the information we can as it relates to our immune system, because that's what people now are really, really paying attention to. Um, so please help me welcome my, my guest, Dr. Katie Norris. Dr. Katie, thanks so much for being my guest. Thank you, Mike. I always love hanging with you. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little different. So you're in California and we're here in Boston. And the last time we saw each other, we were definitely out your way. I love it out there. It's, uh, you know, especially this time of year, I'm rocking the Come hat. on back. I know. When I need to. I'm, appropriate <laughs> when we can when we can um so you know you know again you, you've been on tv about, like for years uh you've consulted with you know with with celebrities and um and uh you know you've like been on cnn fox you know uh good morning arizona you've, you're a best-selling author you're a naturopathic doctor uh we've known each other for a while but uh, for those people who don't know who you are tell us a little bit about your background and how like your journey of like how you became a naturopathic doctor because uh it's it's a little bit of a different route than you know traditional like md right right for sure well you know i grew up in a family of 11 kids uh, we were very poor we were you know i was i was close to the end of the litter you know and um <laughs> <laughs> you know so i was actually I, I really came into the world very, very ill. Um, and my, you know, they, we didn't know it at the time, but I, I was sick basically since I came into the world right after being born and up until like probably about five years ago. And the, the thing was, was I was so chronically ill. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I, I struggled. They, um, it wasn't until I was, 
pregnant with my son and my second child that they found that I had a rare genetic blood disorder and I had Lyme disease. I knew I had Lyme disease, but I, the, having the combination of them together has been kind of a deadly duo, really. It's like, st they, you know, staying up all night just to keep breathing, you know, and wow. so, so you don't die, you know, that kind of a thing. And, um, you know, never, you know, I mean, you just really deep in your faith when you have something like that, because, you know, and even when my son was born, my daughter, she came out with a little bit healthier immune system being the first child, I think. But my son, he literally, they, when he was born, they just said he was so listless and um, he was kind of, he was, you know, jaundiced, very yellow and everything. But he literally um, had like um, started getting um, blood vessels breaking in his face very quickly. Um, his, um, he would whimper all the time. His, his uh, gums would bleed. Uh, he would, you know, hold his head at night just crying because his head hurts so bad. He was constantly having massive inflammation in his body. And um, so I really, you know, made a determination that I was going to try to save him because I actually, we both started shaking uncontrollably. Like he was like a kid on crack, like just going crazy, shaking so bad. And I didn't think I was going to make it. And I told my husband, I said, I'm not going to make it. This is just, I just know it. I said, you're going to have to take care of the kids. And then I looked at my son and I said, oh my gosh, nobody knows what he's going through. I have to save him and then I'll be okay leaving, you know? And so I just made a determination and I have, uh, I had owned this um, uh, Malibu Health Fitness Center and Spa in Malibu overlooking the pier and all the celebrities, even uh, JFK Jr., Madonna, everybody came to this place all over from all over the world. Um, and we had some of the best um, holistic doctors also. And so I was working very closely with them, but I really had to take it by the horns and, and find my own answers really. And that's when I, I mean, I had such an incredible um, interest in um, health and how, what was affecting my health. And you know what I'm saying? Like foods were definitely affecting me. You know, I had a lot of maladaptive reactions with um, certain foods, you know, like gluten and dairy and things like that. But, and you know, I, there were times when I couldn't even eat anything. I, nothing was working in my system. So it was a really difficult time throughout my whole life. I remember going, going to college one day and I literally passed out and they took me to the hospital. I wake up and my, my uh, father's there and we had just lost my mother and everything. And, and so it was just, you know, a really difficult time. And so I didn't get to eat like everybody else. I didn't get to even, I had to go to sleep early. I had to do the things that I needed to do to get, stay strong and healthy. And so it was, you know, and we don't always think of it as our benefit, but I can absolutely say today that everything that I've gone through was my incredible benefit for my life and for my health. And, and even, um, I remember, um, Jess Stern, who had like 32 New York Times bestsellers, he was an amazing, he wrote a book and I didn't know that he was the author of it. It was in my, in my, um, my uh, library. And one day he came over and he said, um, I, you know, he said, you know, you're going to be one of the biggest medical psychics ever. And I said, I don't have a psychic bone in my body. And he said, no, you really have a gift. And he went to my, my library and he pulled a book out and it was, um, uh, um, gosh, it was the, the sleeping prophet. And it was um, the, this guy who literally, I don't want to name his name because I know it, I don't, you're not supposed to promote other books and things like that. <laughs> yeah. But basically, he was an illiterate and he went into this trance and doctors from all over the world would come and get answers from him. And he would give answers, like very natural answers like of plants and castor oil and all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? That would help people, things you wouldn't even think of. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like boron or borax or different things like that. It was like crazy, you know? And um, I had studied his work and everything and stuff. So it was pretty amazing to be in the company of this man because he was an amazing man. And, and um, I literally didn't realize that when he had written me, he wanted to write a book about me. And he said, I had extended his life you know, over three years. And he, he was, the doctor said he wasn't going to live more than a couple months. So I had no idea that that was the case. So it was pretty amazing, you know, so, so, it's all natural things. So uh, back up a little bit. So you, um, uh, throughout your youth, you're kind of sickly. Is that accurate to say? 
Oh my gosh, terribly sickly, yes. And uh, and so I'm guessing your parents would bring you to traditional doctors and they, what, you were just, just undiagnosed? You didn't know, no one knew what was wrong? Exactly. And, and a lot of times I couldn't get to the doctor because we were so poor and we would go to like, you know, kind of the clinics kind of a thing. Sure. And my mom, I mean, with 11 kids, you can imagine how difficult it was. Sometimes, you know, you kind of had to fend for yourself, you know, and I was too little really. And so it was really, you know, it wasn't dog eat dog. It was really just trying to survive and trying to thrive, but you know, it was tough. So you, you know? so you make it through, through the majority of your life, uh, even up until your, 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 your the birth of your son, where you still, you, you know, that, that there's something wrong, but you just don't know what it is. Right. Exactly. And Did I, you, I'm were there, problem. Were there like um, triggers where things you started to like, uh, as you're, you know, as you're going through your life, you're like, oh, okay, well, if I have coffee, then this happens. If I have uh, a piece of bread, then this happens. Were you starting to kind of almost recognize there were maybe certain things that were happening, certain foods that were impacting you? Yes. And, and to be honest with you, like even before my children were born, I was, you know, really becoming so conscious of that kind of stuff, you know, okay. but see, you know, I had um, started a company and it, it grew, you know, and, you know, stress is a big factor too, you know, right. And so if you have too much success, too fast kind of a thing, I had a clothing company, it became like a $90 million company. Everything was, you know, fat, yeah, very fast and furious kind of a thing too. And, but I always was just like holding on for dear life, you know, through this ride, you know, <laughs> I know what that's and like. always looking for answers. <laughs> You know that feeling. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> so, um, what what was the the moment? Uh, so, up until this point, so you so you're definitely starting to go down the kind of the natural route because it sounds like the 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 conventional medicine is not really helping you. Um, at, at what age, I guess, were you were you we started studying this stuff, and then when did you decide to study study? Um, naturopathic remedies and, and actually, you know, go and get your naturopathic degree and become a naturopathic doctor. Like when, when Great I'm just question. trying to figure out when that, when that was, was it before your son during after like, yeah. That's a great question. Okay. So I was actually, you know, looking at foods when I was in high school and in college and everything, mm -hmm. I was really looking at everything, trying to work out, trying to do, you know, trying to balance everything, you know, and I'm a Libra, so that's really important too, you know, but um, it wasn't until, both of my children were born and that I was probably, my kids were probably in high school, both of them. And that's when I, um, you know, I, I actually had gotten, became a nutritionist. I became nutritionist to the stars. I, have, I was working with everybody because even though I was still struggling with my health, I was, I looked, the, looked good. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you don't really realize it. And, and, and it's, Sometimes when you have to, you're still looking for answers, you have to kind of fake it till you make it. And I don't mean I was faking, but I wasn't always feeling great, but I always put a hundred to 250% into everything, you know, right. and that was really important because if you don't, you know, when you're, when you're like that, you, it, it's so easy to, to lose it. You know what I mean? To, to, to lose your health very quickly and stuff. So I was always looking, I mean, so I would be up until four o'clock in the morning and God knows that's not the best thing to do because, but, but when you've got kids and things like that, or, or, you know, when you're juggling your life or whatever, you got to find the answers wherever you can. And so I'd have to stay up late oftentimes to find answers, you know? And so, and so you found too that like, and I heard that someone once talk about this before, uh, as far as like someone's, as it relates to pain and, and they, and, uh, a friend of mine who's uh, in a lot of pain, uh, he was saying that, you know, like if you're born with an ailment, that's all you know. And so you're just able to, just, you're able to just live your life because you think it's, you know, it's not normal, but you just, it's like your, your baseline is, is not healthy yeah. compared to everyone else. And so you're able to, to, I think, I, I think it's hard for someone to understand who is healthy, um, you know, because if, you know, if you're healthy and then you, then you have some sort of acute, um, you know, medical issue, then, then you start to realize things, but you, for most of your life, y your baseline was much lower than everyone's. In other words, you just, but, but you still were living your life though. You're able to do for the most part, you know, semi-normal things, right? Yeah. I mean, I was, I was so grateful I could go to college, you know, and, um, and that I could, um, do the things that I did because I, I mean, I, 
I was, you know, it's almost, you, you say, okay, well, look at, you're an A-type personality. I mean, you look at what you've accomplished. You've accomplished so much in your life and everything. But really, the driving force really was to um, find the answers always. It was always the underlying cause to find the answers. And it wasn't until, you know, my kids uh, were in high school that I actually became a doctor, a natural doctor. And um, right when they were kind of finishing up with school, getting into college and stuff. And and I did that because I was getting worse and I knew I had to find the answers. And so being a nutritionist wasn't enough. Even though plant foods are the building blocks of the body, I needed more. I needed more answers, much more answers than what I was getting because ultimately it was helping and it was keeping me going, but it wasn't taking me over the top. And so the, when I literally, I, when I became, you know, studying to be a doctor, it was the most gratifying thing I've ever done. And I was so grateful every minute because I was getting answers that were so, and, and these were answers like, not back when the witch, you know, witches and whatever, but like way back, back, back years and years and years ago, that these were um, anecdotal, anecdotal things that were from plants that were, you know, would, you know, things that would dump the cells, like that would clean out the cells that you, that, are like that for almost your whole life. Most people live with cells that are just full of toxins and everything. But this is these are you know amazing things that will dump the cells and um, you know clean up the system and the oxyacids and peroxides and things like that inside your body would just move out you know and then you would be able to potentiate the nutritional um, your nutrition in your body so that it was. Um, able to get down to the small intestine. And this is where all the little fingery like villi are getting all the nutrition, the, the little tips of it are, are able to get nourished at that, this point, you know what I'm saying? And oftentimes if you, most people will have problems either with their liver or their stomach or whatever. And they're oftentimes not able to get this optimum nutrition to create in, into the small intestine to create amazing energy and oxygenation and um, you know, regeneration in the body. So it's obvious you really uh, love this stuff and know, and know a lot about it, it uh, and, and, you, and you're, you're super knowledgeable and all this stuff. And we could probably talk for hours about this, uh, um, but I want to I want to I want to I want to focus in on, on something in, in, in particular that's that's really been in the forefront now uh, uh, worldwide. Um, you know, and you kind of touched upon it a little bit already is, you know, our immune system, you know, um, we're now obviously hyper aware of our immune system because of COVID, uh, and and now we're all we're all paying attention to other you know viruses and ailments and things like this. And so, first question is is um, you know it, it, here we are today, like you know our are our immune systems um, being attacked more so than ever. Uh, and if so, why? Uh, and then also, you know, what, what, what do we do about it? You know, I don't, you know, I'm not going to talk about COVID, but, but I mean, just, just COVID is now making us aware of it, but like, you know, what's going on with our immune systems now and, and what can we do about it? That is an amazing question. And that's the, um, the question of the, uh, the year right now, for sure. sure. Um, and I can tell you that, you know, I, none of my patients, are ill, and if they have, if they do get ill, and I, I say that uh, kind of loosely in the sense, but I mean, no, like really sick. Like you see people, you're hearing about all these people becoming so sick and everything, and I think because they're really utilizing plant foods uh, that have the highest vibration, because we are vibration, right? And how do we get our vibration up? It's it's by you know, being around people that have vibra high vibration really makes a difference, right? Sure. But also the, the foods that we eat, the water that we drink, if it's not, it's, if they have different levels of vibration. If it has low level, that it's going to affect how we think. It's going to, uh, what we say, what we do, our, our organs, glands, tissue, bones, veins, arteries, everything is affected because our cells are, uh, are, operating at a lower level and our, our cells make up all of our glands, organs, tissue, bones, veins, artery, everything. And so what we want to be able to do is nourish them with the highest vibration plant foods that you can find because plant foods, you know, ask a cow, you know, like a cow just eats the most beautiful green grass ever. And is, it's just incredible. It can create um, really healthy milk. If you get the, the good milk from them and everything, and it's not, 
tainted and everything. And they, they're just so healthy, you know, but the thing is, is we, if we get this high vibration plant food as the building blocks of our body, we can regenerate our cells, you know, our, our cells. And remember this, those cells, because each, each of those cells are so important. And if you can't even get it into the cell, if you can't get the nutrition into the cell, it's really, it's really serious. So you've got to have good water. You've got that, that hydrates the cell. You've got to have good plant foods that are able to be utilized. So chew your food really well. You know, I can't tell people enough about how important it is to chew their food 25 to 30 times when they're, they're eating, you know, and just really honor your life, you know, um, you know, because when you chew, the more you chew, the better the digestion, the more digestive enzymes you create and the better it'll digest and the more nutrition you'll get like a, like a, it's like a river going through your body, just nourishing you. Okay. So, and so I don't mean to cut you out, but when you said digestive enzymes, you know, I've heard that there's, and there's a big movement too, uh, that's talking about, you know, um, uh, it's, I don't know if it's a big movement, but I think now people are paying attention to it because we're talking about our immune system, which is, that uh, I think the number is like 80, 85%, maybe even higher of our immune system is actually in our gut. Tell me a little bit about what that means uh, and why that's important. Well, that's a, uh, actually, that is such a great question. And people don't realize how important that is that, you know, our feel good, um, you know, like neurotransmitters our feel good um, chemicals that are created in our gut. 95% of our serotonin is created in our gut. And that's whether or not you know, we, we are feeling great, you know, throughout the day. And so if they always say that our gut is our, you know, our second brain, our brain or, you know, um, and so if we're not digesting well, we're not making enough serotonin to feel good. So what's the number one challenge in the workplace or now the home place, I should say it's depression. Sure. And so depression comes because you're not creating enough serotonin and dopamine, you're, you create about 50% of dopamine in your gut. Okay, so when people bottom out on their dopamine, that's when they take the gun and boom, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we, that research shows, you know, and um, they go, they go crazy, they are anger, rage, you know, kind of craziness kind of stuff. So it could not be more important for us to have great digestion to really build our immune system and 75% of our immune system is our gut. Okay. It's our digestion. So that's huge. So, that, make, yeah, you know, that makes sense. And, and I think a, a lot of people, again, don't, don't realize that. And it, I guess it comes down to the basics of, you know, truly like what you eat. Right. Um, right. So um, we, we are on uh, with Dr. Katie Norris. She is a naturopathic doctor. She's been doing this for a long time. And you heard her story uh, a little bit about how she kind of got involved uh, in this stuff. And, and it's, 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 what I like about her story is well, she had went had to go through a lot of shit basically to kind of get here. And she's sharing with you the information that she's learned throughout the years because truly her life depended on it. Her son's life depended on it. Um, and, uh, you know, the, her path to kind of getting there uh, is really pure and, and natural. So if you'd like some more information about Dr. Norris, you can just go to Katie's Organics. It's C-A-T-I-E-S organics.com. Again, it's katiesorganics.com. Um, you can also find her Instagram, which is simply young. She's got a whole line of products. We'll talk a little bit about the products in a, in a minute, but again, if you wanted some more information about Katie, again, you, let me just spell her name as well. It's C-A-T-I-E and then Norris, N-O-R-R-I-S. If you just Google her, you'll find all of her stuff as well. So, um, now earlier, uh, before we went on camera, we were, you know, in this whole immune system thing is, is what's important. And I think we're kind of getting to the foundation of, of that. Uh, let's talk about, um, nutrients, uh, specifically, uh, like vitamins or minerals or herbs, uh, that, that you believe have, uh, this positive, uh, vibrational frequency, uh, and, or it can have just a, a really good impact, uh, on the body. Now you hear about, things like vitamin C or vitamin D or even calcium or these, you know, these greens products. And, um, you know, what, if, if you had one, uh, vitamin or mineral, not a multivitamin, just one thing, you can only take one, what would it be and why? Mm, I would for say, your, wait, hold on uh, wait, for your, for your immune like, health, for your immune health. So I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. Like, 
Are you saying like one of my products or like just if I'm just saying, I, yeah, I'm just saying so, so like, you know, when, I, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm trying to get at is it, is it, is it vitamin C? Is it vitamin E? Is it calcium? Is it, you know, so you, so you have, you have the option, you have one, one okay. vitamin mineral nutrient that, uh, that, that you, the only thing you can take to supplement your diet with, like, what would it be and why? Right. Okay. You know, I was going to say vitamin C and I, I have to say I do. So I used to work with Linus Pauling, Linus Pauling, he would have the book on, on vitamin C, right. right? And I dedicated my vitamin C to him. Didn't he, because, uh, did you know, he win the Nobel Prize or something for? Yes, he won oh, yeah, two yeah. Nobel Prizes, yeah. one for peace right. and one for vitamin C. Right, okay, right. And he it was so amazing. I worked with Norman Cousins at the Norris Cancer Center in here in, in uh, California here. And Norman Cousins, um, as many of you probably know, he, he wrote the book, um, Anatomy of an Illness and Laughter is the Best Medicine. And he was just like, I, he was, they were both my mentors. I, they were some of the greatest mentors I've ever had. And, uh, and that's how I've gotten here today was having amazing mentors in my life, you know? And so the thing is vitamin C is so huge, but I have to tell you that without, you know, I say, By the way, I know I'm totally putting you on the spot, making you just pick one. No, so I know this is a hard I, question. I, to answer. I know it's not fair, right? Okay, so what I'm going to actually tell you. We'll talk, listen, we'll talk about other stuff too, though. But I just okay. just curious, like you know, talking to somebody to who's been doing you. it for a long time. You know, sorry. Right. I'm going to have to tell you that it that the number one thing right now is not the vitamin C, though it is so absolutely important. But it's plant calcium, and it's not just calcium because there's really no such thing as that because you know, what are you going to take a calcium from a rock, shell, stone, bone, chalk and eat it and try to digest that? No, mm -hmm. you're probably going to have a heart attack or a stroke, which many women have gotten because they're taking these hard tablets that are from that kind of stuff. And that is not the right thing. You need plant foods that are rich in calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, boron, selenium, zinc, lysine, phosphorus, potassium, vitamin B3, vitamin C, all these different nutrients that work together synergistically to build up your bone matrix, to build up your osteoblasts. These are your new bones because then you're gonna be able to naturally shed your osteoclasts, which are the old bone. And if I tell you, it is the absolute- Hold on, hold on, I'm cutting, I'm cutting you off. I got it. So you just, you just okay. brushed over something and it just, I, I don't think I've heard this before. So did you say uh, that it gives you the ability to shed your old bones? W w w give me a little bit. Yes. Of what does that mean? I know that's, it's really amazing. But when you have, a, when you have the right matrix of nutrition working together to build up new bone, which they call osteo osteoblasts. Okay you're able to then push out the old bone so that you're not building hard crusty bone or you know bones that are going to break and sh sh shatter or whatever you're now building up this amazing bone that's actually very flexible when i say that what i mean is that w w women that are are having problems and even men right now men will have more hip fractures than even women in the next uh, 20 years and they're the deadliest fractures and they are and and i mean i worked with a woman who was the the um reason why cedars did a study on our calcium and um, she literally, I thought she was 80 years old and she was 65 and she was a beautiful human being. She came in on a walker and she said, I've heard all about your research. I want to know more. And I got, I set her down, we talked and she got going. And in a week she went to the doctor and said my, without her walker and said, my bones are stronger. And she was so confident and so healthy that she literally blew this guy away. Like the doctor started studying her and found that she increased, because, because when she was walking with her walker, her hip, she said she could heal, feel it crumbling, you know, and people, most of the people that are getting hip fractures, it's not like they, fall and you know fracture their hip there i mean well they do fall but it's their their hip crumbles oftentimes and they fall which causes, like which causes the imbalance face. right exactly why is it and, why and, why is it that uh, i think a lot of women know this answer but i, I don't uh, why is it that that uh, calcium deficiency and things like osteomalacia uh and osteoporosis like seem to happen why is it more prevalent in women uh versus men well, first of all, you know, women are the bearers of children too. You know what I'm saying? And that's, right, that's you know, what I thought. Women are little worker bees too. And they're us utilizing up all of their nutrition. Okay. And these minerals, they go fast when you're like a little worker bee and everything. And the, uh, the thing is, is 
you know, they're saying for years, take your calcium, take your calcium, because the women become, they're smaller. When you're smaller, you become more frail, easier. And so you're, that's actually kind of goes against you. If you're a bigger woman, you're going to have probably a little bit better bone mineral density than a woman who's, who's smaller, you know, so there's different things. And, and women probably don't work out, weren't at that time working out as much as men were, or maybe men were doing more heavy duty work or whatever. So they were doing kind of bone, you know, they would, um, you know, weight bearing exercises and things like that. So they were building bone, even if they didn't have the best nutrition, it was probably building better bone than, than not if you weren't, you know, working out. So we have to, in order to, you have to have the right nutrition in order to build bone mineral density. But if you don't work out and, and build bone mineral, you, you can't build, build, really build that bone mineral density because it takes both of those things to do that, you know? And the thing is, is, you know, calcium and all the other minerals that are crucial for it, they are crucial for over 300 to 350 different metabolic processes. Calcium makes your heart beat up. Magnesium makes it beat down, okay? You, you know, and, and vitamin C, D, you know, where we know it's so crucial for the, the immune system and everything, you know, it's whether or not you're going to have strong, healthy bones having vitamin, if you don't have enough vitamin D. And, you know, I mean, we can get vitamin D from sheep's wool if we want to, you know, and a lot of everybody's taking that right now. But, but to All be right, honest, stop, you, I'm going to I'm gonna stop you again. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, which, <laughs> which again, she's obviously she knows her stuff. And so, um, and she's passionate about it. <clears throat> I happen to know a little bit, but not uh, just enough to know, like I can catch some things that she's saying. And she says that what people don't realize is that most vitamin D comes from lanolin, which is actually considered from, from sheep's wool. Uh, it sounds crazy, but that's how, that's how it is. And then there's also complete s- synthetic forms of vitamin D, but then there's also natural forms of vitamin D. And, um, and so let's talk about that for a second. Um, uh, the natural form of vitamin D, um, when someone's looking at a label or what have you, um, what, what should they look for uh, as far as a natural form of vitamin D? Well, if it says plant vitamin D, that's a really good (laughs) indicator. And to be honest with you, there was really not much out there to be, you know, but we, there there are actual mushrooms out there that um, they can actually measure the amount of IUs of vitamin D in it. And so it's what they considered standardized, that it's measurable. So it's always usually higher. So let's say it's, it's 1250 IUs for 200 milligrams of, of the powder or something like that. And so, so usually you would probably put it in there as maybe a thousand or something like that. But the ultimately what happens is your body reacts to plant foods way differently than something that's synthesized or, you know, chemicalized. Right. And, you know, and, and, and that is without a doubt a truth. So is that, so, so, so is that like a, you know, when you think about um, if you're going to, you know, because everyone knows, everyone, when I was a kid, it was like vitamin C and vitamin E taken together or like this powerful kind of uh, antioxidant and just great for your immune system. But what I found uh, is that a lot of people are taking synthetic forms of it. So if you're taking a synthetic form of vitamin D, calcium, vitamin C versus a natural, um, which one's better for you? Natural always. And I'll tell you, even like, I mean, if you even look at the studies on vitamin E, which is, you know, why do they they make synthetic then? Like, what's the point? You know, these scientists, they want to, you know, I don't mean to say that they want to play God or anything like that, but you know, it's kind of cool to go in and see if you can create it. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and they've never, ever been able to ever match what mother nature does. And, and I know that because that's all I study. That's all I study. And we know that the studies that have come out on vitamin E alone, um, like 400 IUs of, um, of the vitamin E has, they did longitudinal studies, which were long time studies and showed literally that this vitamin E, anybody who, the people that were in that study that were taking that, they were actually, their heart was actually worse off. And they're, you know, uh, the, what, what the reasons that they were taking it for were actually way worse than the people that were just eating naturally eating foods that were rich in vitamin E. And this is a big point because they were actually hurting themselves with the chemicalized. On it was, that so it was a chemical diet. version of vitamin E. Yeah. And that's the exactly. scary part. They were hurting themselves. 
that's yeah. that, that's the scary part uh about uh about this whole world and and you know and i think also too the media really kind of plays up because every you know you know obviously uh, i've been selling supplements a long time myself as well and every year the the, the news it's literally every year they say yeah. oh new study came out that says taking vitamin e kills you taking vitamin c kills you taking a multivitamin is gonna actually decrease uh you know your lifespan but then when you actually look at the studies the studies that they're quoting are, are synthetic vitamins which is crazy to me right and it hurts people like you and me uh who are selling all natural you know uh health and wellness products and and um it, it's just too bad um yeah. so so uh so, Mike, can I share a story with you? I don't mean to cut you off, but I, yeah, I'm thinking it. of the story that my son, when he was like eight and a half years old, he had all these broken capillaries on his face and on his chest, neck and everything. And I was so worried for him because I could tell he like at night he would just shake, you know, a lot and things like that. He, had, he was having a lot of seizures and different things were going on with him. And um, I took him to the doctor and the doctor looked at him. He goes, oh, my God, get him on vitamin C. He's 50 years ahead of his time because these little broken capillaries are a, a, a later stage of the vascular system breaking inside. So he was at risk of having, either, you know, could it be a stroke or a heart attack because vitamin C is so crucial for you know, the veins and arteries and, you know, keeping, you know, things flowing through your body. And anyways, and he literally, I started working with a couple of different universities, Virginia University, and, um, and then some other studies too, like from, um, oh gosh, there's a great one from Cornell University that they uh, did a study and found that six and a half milligrams of a plant vitamin C, so six and a half milligrams was equivalent to about 1500 milligrams of a synthetic vitamin C made from ascorbic acid. And, and yes, ascorbic acid is synthetic. As a matter of fact, how do they make it? They take the sugar oftentimes from genetically modified corn. I studied this. And that's why people were having such terrible stomach aches when they took too much ascorbic acid. And ascorbic acid is not real vitamin C. It is an imitation strand of it. And that was lit literally Linus Pauling taught me that one. And, and so it, and even Linus Pauling Institute says today that anything over 200 milligrams of this ascorbic acid or ester C and things like that, that it could actually cause RNA and DNA damage. There is that possibility. And so what is cancer? A DNA damage, right? And so why would we be, you know, so we have to understand how important when you get plant foods that are so rich, not an orange, and I'm not talking an orange, but something that is so incredibly high in vitamin C that because the RDA is only 60 milligrams. So right? yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Again, it's, it's scary to me uh, about all that stuff, because, you know, especially now here we are today, again, in 2021. And it's, you know, everyone's really trying to What's interesting with COVID is now people are really trying to start to pay attention to their health and people are searching for answers and they're searching for ways to, you know, kind of uh, improve their lives and keep them on this planet longer. And they're going to these big box stores and they're going even online or, or, or some of these online retailers and they're buying essentially chemicals and that, that, that's scary. So, 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 so what yes, you're saying it's is, so is that- worrisome. So what you're saying is, is like vitamin C, vitamin D, calcium, some things we've talked about can help protect your immune system if it's natural. But if you buy the wrong stuff, it could actually hurt you. It could, it could it actually do the complete That's opposite. Exactly right. Exactly. Well, look at drugs. I mean, if you take drugs, I mean, the devastation that occurs to your liver, which your liver, you know, it's your emotional seat, your anger seat. It's more than you can digest. And it's a filter that would be the size of a football field. So you can imagine if you can't break it down and that, cause that you know, liver processes your fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. And if you can't break that down and everything, it's, things are going to get stuck in there and you're going to like, it'll be crazy stuff that'll be get stuck in there, like tablets and pills and, you know, things like that. And so we really need to have things that in it, they're easiest to digest form. Yeah, I mean, they're formed the easiest, easy, easily digest. And, and it's so important because most people remember their digestion is compromised. It is suffering. And because look at how many people are suffering right now and cannot even barely deal with what's going on in this crazy world right now. Right. So, so what do you, what do you say to people? I mean, right now of people are suffering on all of our different fronts, you know, financially, emotionally, physically, psychologically, and the list goes on and on. So, so let's say financially. So, um, you know, it, 
someone goes to katiesorganics.com and you know your products are 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 high quality products they're plant based products and let's just say for a second that they go there and they can't afford your products they just can't right just is what it is um uh but if you did want again if you did want some more more information just go to katiesorganics.com that's with a c um right. so um give us i know we don't have a lot of time left but give, but give us uh the average everyday person, some things that you do like on a daily basis that are essentially free things that they don't need to, they don't need to buy or whatever that, that is going to give them, you know, a chance, maybe, you know, just small mm-hmm. things, you know, what, what should someone do? Who's, you know, on a budget. Um, and, but they're, you know, they want to be healthy. They want to be happy. They want to live a right. life. Like, what are some things that, that you would suggest? Fair question. Them? Yeah. Really good question. You know, I, I say up your garlic right now, you know, to help your, your immune system, you know, okay. because there's so many great phytochemicals in there that are going to help, you know, protect your heart, which is when they, I just heard a study today saying, you know, the truth is a lot of the people that they say died from COVID, the really, the underlying cause was really the, the heart, you know, they, mm-hmm. they died from their heart failure or whatever and stuff. So we need to really protect the heart, you know, so garlic is just one of those organic garlic, especially it's just one of those. You know, so is that something that someone? Have. So is that something that someone just go to your grocery store? Do you just get garlic? Yeah, you get garlic. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you can. Do you, you eat know, it raw? I, do you cook it? Like, how does it, how does someone prepare you it? Can eat it raw. You can chop it up and everything, and you can maybe make it uh, into maybe put some cucumber and tomatoes and you know put um, it in a little salad. Bit of vinegar and, and yeah, and and make your own little salad with a lot of garlic and everything. You know, throw it in in your salad. Uh, you know, anything like that. You know, try not to cook it if you can. And but if you do cook it, it's so still okay. But do always try to get some raw stuff into your diet. You know, I'm just such a foodie now. I used to be petrified of food because I didn't know what was going to help me and I, it, I you know because everything hurt me you know right. and so i i am now it's like and it, it reverses when you start mastering the, the, the foods that are ideal for you you know it's really cool place to be at yeah and everything so you know okay so then of course you want to eat a lot of you know fruits and vegetables organic you know only organic they have the much higher vibration that research has shown that and um, but i'll like, stop you there for a second well, yeah. I'm gonna start. With, uh, okay, so um, again, we're, we're talking, you know, budget. Um, so unlike, so you have, we're talking about how bad synthetic vitamins are for you versus natural. So mm-hmm. someone goes to the grocery store again. They're working on a budget. They got a family. They want to do the right thing, and they, you know, they look at the price of organic, and and it's. 30, 40% more than just whatever regular, whatever we want to call it. You know, if if mm-hmm. if if. if if you had the choice between not eating fruits and vegetables and eating fruits and vegetables and the fruits and vegetables that you're going to eat aren't necessarily organic, what would you say? That's such Tough a one. good question. I, I'm, I, here's what I think is that there are stores. I like, let me give you a different angle. There okay. are stores out there. I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's where you guys are yeah, at, but yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Lo- they're across the country. Yeah. Right. And everything. And they have a lot of organic and it's so reasonable. Okay. It's, it's as reasonable as if you go into a regular store and, and get the regular conventional, mm-hmm. you know, fruits and vegetables. Okay. So I say do that really. Find it. And you can Find still it. have it. I right. don't need to be without, you know what I'm saying? You know, and um, that's, that's just the answer. Really. Okay. It just have to make extra effort really right now. It could not be more important. And um, of course you want to drink a lot, stay hydrated, drink a lot of, of liquid, especially good water. Um, you, you also, you know, want to use essential oils and things like that. Like you can use eucalyptus, camper and different things like that, um, peppermint and rub it on your hand, you know, take a deep breath and that will help in, go down into the epithelial lining of the lungs and make the lungs weep so that the toxins that are going into the lungs, maybe that the, maybe the COVID or whatever, you know, whatever ch- viruses and pathogens are in, there, it'll start cleaning them up. It does. It just cleans them up and it protects the epithelial lining of the, the lungs. And uh, it's really powerful. And um, you just, everything becomes more alert. You can see better. Like I'm seeing people, I can tell when people have like some kind of pathogens or viruses, like, you know, right now or cold or flu or whatever, I can see it in there. I read it in their eyes. And that was one of the things that Jess Stern, he was, he's like, gosh, you can just look at somebody and you can tell what's going on. But I'm saying your body tells what's going on. Like, you know, your nails, your tongue, your eyes, your skin, even if you've got a line here, I can tell you your lungs are weak week, week. If you've got, 
a crack in your tongue. I know you're not died. Your liver is not working well and you are not digesting your proteins. Well, I know, I mean, and that's, you know, I don't know, it's not hundred percent, but it's about clo as close to hundred percent really as you can get. And even if it's not, what's wrong with trying to get better digestion, right? Sure. And if your tongue is really thick, you got, you're not getting enough B vitamins, right? And, um, and if your tongue is elongated, um, you got to protect the heart and take care of the thyroid, you know, get a lot of good sea vegetables and things like that. You know, um, there's just, you, the body is screaming out. If your hair is not good, you need more collagen. So you need more vitamin C because vitamin C makes collagen. Collagen makes connective tissue. It's going to help your hair. It's going to help your, your joints, your knees, your organs and glands. It's going to create a little weave all, uh, you know, weave um, the, um, the, the, the uh, organs are going to get tighter because they're going to weave tighter because they're getting more collagen. Okay. And it's so not, the invaders can't get into these organs and invade them. So, uh, so I think I really just to kind of like distill it down is, is, you know, pay attention to, to, to your own body. Right. And just, you know, pay attention right. to, the, to the basics of your hair, your skin, and, and just really try to recognize, it's you know, sweet. yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and then all the other, all the other stuff too, you're talking about is some basic stuff, drink more water, um, you know, maybe get some garlic in there, eat some fresh fruits and vegetables, try to go to the oregano. Oh. Yeah. Get, get a lot of, a lot of spices, turmeric. You know, oregano, um, thyme, these are all antibacterial, antifungals, antivirals, believe it right. or not. And, and, and turmeric is incredible for the brain. It's incredible for it. There were studies that showed that it, it would go and search out for things like cancers that were feeding on you and things like that. It would go and, and, and go after those tumor cells and, and just you know, kick their butt and everything. So, you know, all of this stuff is, you know, the, the research on the foods that we have the ability to eat are so amazing. And, and you don't have to go to a doctor for that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can just put it in your diet and it's so amazing. But, you know, I love putting together these things because I dream about it. Mike, I'm telling you, I dream about things. And then I came up, I come up with these things and then you get to drink it and then, or you get to um, have a, it's a new, your new coffee. That's no coffee, you know, caffeine or, you know, tea or anything like that, but it's the best, it's like a best hot chocolate coffee thing you've ever had and everything. And I love creating these kind of things because our, the foods that we actually get to eat and drink and are so amazing. It's just incredible. I have a vitamin D that you can literally sprinkle on your avocado and toast. You can literally, Put, make a dressing with it. You could put it on your chicken or your whatever you want to anything that's savory because it's so incredible and it's rich in sulfur, which is so crucial. If you've got achy joints and your skin is really bad and you're suffering right now with that kind of stuff, you need sulfur. That's the third largest element in the body, right? And we need that. And people call it MSM, but you don't want MSM. That's the chemicalized version because that will actually deplete you of your iron. And what's your number one deficiency in the entire world? iron deficiency and you need iron with vitamin d because those that makes it work they work together and they're a powerhouse for the immune system for your oxygenation to get your respiratory up and help to um even to in uh, building a, a space for your cells to repair because you know the combination of the covid and then of course now you've got 5g that has came out about the same time you know, you're exposed to all these EMFs right now, right? So you need lots of green foods to protect you. Those are phytochemicals that they used even in um, for, for massive radiation, you know what I'm saying? And that protected you from it. So you need super, super greens right now, you know? And that's, I, that, I mean, I did that for my son because he was like just a little infant and they were saying he was going to have to have just, he was going to die just from his blood transfusions by the, at least by the age of two years old. And he didn't have to have one blood transfusion because I was able to put together all these different greens that his body was screaming for. And to be honest with you, most of our bodies are screaming for that. So it's so important to be, you know, to be knowledgeable and know that these things are out there and what can we do to, cause we're conductive. And so these EMFs that are all around us are utilizing all of our minerals. And if we don't have good minerals, it, those are using it to degradate our body. If we have good minerals, it's actually, going to help us to, I mean, we'll be able to withstand the storm, you know what I'm saying? And feel good throughout it. 
Wow. Uh, I, I, like I said, uh, we could probably keep you here for hours because you, cause, 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 cause you know, you know, so much stuff, you know, and, and it's, it's been great to have you. I'm definitely gonna have to bring you back on and maybe talk about it. You know, we haven't even talked a lot about it, but um, you know, you know, Katie, uh, it, like she said, she dreams about it. She's also, it's more than just a dream. She dreams about it. It goes into the lab, so to speak, takes a look at the, the nutrients. You know, I've, I've been out to her place before and, and, I, and uh, we've, we've known each other for a long time. So um, the reason why she's here is because she's as real as it gets. Uh, and, uh, and she's doing some great things for, for people. So, you know, if, if that's you, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, something that you can, uh, add to your diet, we didn't even spend a lot of time about this, but it's just quite frankly, the food is just a lot of the stuff that we eat. It's just not there. Right. So you do need to supplement your diet. And, um, if you go to Katie's organics, it's C A T I E S organics.com. When you go there, not only are you um, going to see a bunch of her products that she's formulated over the years and that are just really helping people all the world, but there's also a lot of information uh, there as well about, you know, what you can do with a lot of the stuff that we've talked about. So, um, you know, go there, go to katiesorganics.com. You can also check her out on Instagram. It's simply young. You can just Google her and find out uh, her information. She's also an author. Uh, you know, she's been doing this for people for a long time for a reason, you know, and uh, there aren't a lot of people that that do stay in this industry for a long time and are successful at it. So she is, she's been doing it for a long time and she comes from her own pain and her own struggles with not only herself, but her son. And that's really kind of the essence of why her products have been formulated and why she's helping so many other people. So Katie, I want to thank you for spending the time uh, for, 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 for with us. And um, it's really been insightful. Um, and um, we're definitely going to have you back. I, I promise. So can I, uh, can I share one last thing? Well, let's do I it. My yes. My son uh, with the vitamin C is that we went, we, we did several different um, variations of different plants, the highest, you know, from the camu camu, the amalaki, the goji berry, pomegranate, noni, all these different plant foods that we put together and we kept trying them on my son by the fourth time. And this was the universities like Virginia and Cornell and things like that. And we were by the fourth time that we put these together, literally all of his broken capillaries were gone. He is gums were, didn't bleed anymore. His, he literally cut, got his hair cut Cause he was, he would keep it long, like a little surfer dude. Cause he was so embarrassed to see all the bleeding and the, the marks all over his face. So it happened so quickly when you get the right stuff. It's amazing. Well, that's a great way, uh, again, uh, to end it. So, again, we've been on with Dr. Katie Norris. Uh, again, she's a world-renowned expert within the world of health and nutrition. She's a naturopathic doctor, uh, and she's been studying this stuff for a long time. So, again, if you'd like some more information about Katie or what she's doing and some of her products, you can just go to katiesorganics.com. That's C-A-T-I-E-S organics.com. Uh, you can just Google her. Again, it's Katie Norris, N-O-R-R-I-S, and her Instagram is Simply Young. Katie, uh, thanks so much for, for, for making this happen. I really appreciate it. Yes. Uh, you, you've been great. I love your energy. I love everything about you. Um, and <laughs> she's just so awesome. Much. So um, super, Always blessed, a pleasure. super blessed to have you here. My name is Michael Alden. That's Katie Norris. This has been another edition of the Alden Report, and we'll see you next time. Hey, it's Mike Alden. I hope you're enjoying the Alden Report as much as I am. I love bringing to you new and exciting people that add value to your life. I'm also super excited to announce my latest book, Best Seller Secrets. Listen, if you're an author, maybe you're thinking about writing a book, maybe you've already written a book, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to continue to grow your brand, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to bring in more leads, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you wrote a, a cookbook or a children's book, maybe you wrote a, a fantasy book, a self-help book, a tell-all book, a novel, it doesn't really matter. In my latest book, Best Seller Secrets, I give you all the information that I've literally spent millions of dollars trying to figure this thing out and I'm going to give it to you absolutely free with my book bestseller secrets go to bestsellersecretsbook.com again it's bestsellersecretsbook.com I give you all the information that I've spent literally millions of dollars trying to figure this whole world out my books have gone on to do amazing things I'm a three-time Wall Street Journal USA Today bestselling author I've hit number one on Amazon hundreds of times my books have been the number one book in the world against all books in every category and I've also done this for other authors. And I'm giving you this information absolutely free. Just go to bestsellersecretsbook.com. You got to pay a small processing fee, but it doesn't really matter again, because I've spent millions of dollars. And here's the other secret. 
you can do all this stuff yourself. If you don't have a team, that's okay. If you don't have a lot of time, that's okay. You read the information in my book. Again, whether you just started writing a book, whether you've written the book, whether you wrote the book years ago, and you want to kind of resurrect it, in my book, Bestseller Secrets, I show you exactly what you need to do, and I'm giving you the book absolutely free. Go to bestsellersecretsbook.com, download the book, take that information, use it to become a bona fide, legitimate, number one bestseller. I show you how to become a number one bestseller in less than 24 hours. And again, I'm giving you this information for free. Go to bestsellersecretsbook.com. Again, it's bestsellersecretsbook.com.